Thank you for joining us for the weekly wrap up. I'm Erin Briscoe Clark building career and STEM awareness for tomorrow's workforce. The Kern County Career and STEM Expo returned to SeaTech. Let's take a look from a lesson in the Earth's gravitational pull to a hands on teaching moment on how to apply a tourniquet. Remember, you're not worried about infection. You want to stop this guy from bleeding. Exploring the inside of a fire truck and hearing from the Wonder Women in STEM careers. KHSG's Career and Technical Education Center was buzzing with excitement last Friday as thousands of middle and high school students from 50 schools throughout the community came together for the annual Kern County Career and STEM Expo. Students here are the future workforce, and so they're going to be the employees in these companies. And a lot of these kids, they just don't know about certain career options. Usually they have a pretty limited scope. And so to come out on a one day event, and just see all the different things that they could be doing in the future really will turn some lights on for them. I think it's amazing because, you know, people try to figure out in life what they want to do as a career, and uh, they could be passionate about something, but they don't know a bunch of information. So here is like a perfect example of where to get your information at and what you want to do and what the requirements are of what you need to do to get them. KHSD, along with the Kern Economic Foundation, local educational organizations and businesses teamed up for the one day event for students to immerse themselves in STEM activities. It's just gonna bounce. It cannot push. And showcase projects of their own from the marketing of the event to demonstrations from the Independence Energy and Utilities Career Academy. They are teaching others about the things that are learned throughout the year and they are um, showing their projects and their skills that they've learned throughout the year. It's important for us to do that because we want to show the kids and other people that don't really know about energy, to show how impactful it can be and to show the people in the future how important energy is. The students are like taking pictures of, of all their work um, and they're showing it to their parents. They're like, oh, this is going to go in my portfolio. This is something, not only is it something that can go into their design portfolio, but it also goes into their resume. They work with an event that's well known through the county um, and it just gives them that much uh, kind of better footing when they go apply somewhere. Do they have uh, experience? Now they do. The event also served as a one-stop networking opportunity where students could learn more about various careers, colleges, and programs available to them. If they're interested in healthcare, they could come into this program once they're 18 years old and get have some experience at the hospital. If you have a passion, this event is perfect because there's so many people that want to work with young high school students. That, that have an interest that want to help that passion grow in the sciences. So again, like get a business card, do a summer internship, get experience, and, and, and it, it's huge. It makes you better than the next person. It separates you from them. We want to thank all of the community partners who made the Kern County Career and STEM Expo a success. Thank you for your support in building career and STEM awareness for tomorrow's workforce. So don't give away your one vote. Don't give away your power because when you put all that power together, it really makes a difference. California Secretary of State Shirley Weber visited students at West and East High Schools during high school voter education weeks. Secretary Weber spoke about the importance of civic engagement and urged young future voters to use their voices to make a difference in their communities. Students were engaged by asking a variety of questions during the question and answer session. Kern County Register of Voters Amy Espinoza was also in attendance to provide additional information about the voting process, including their eligibility to pre-register to vote at 16 and 17. The goal was for students to feel inspired and empowered to make a difference in their communities and exercise their right to vote. Congratulations are in store for our alternative education campuses. Over the weekend, the California Continuation Education Association, or CCEA, held its awards gala in San Diego. Tierra del Sol High School received special recognition and has been named a 2023 Model Continuation School and also received an award for its intervention program. And several employees were honored for their dedicated work. Tierra del Sol teacher Julie Gibson received the Teacher of the Year Award for Region 2. And Tierra del Sol Police Officer Dwayne Graves was awarded School Resource Officer of the Year. Nueva High School Site Administrator Rocio Cantu was named Administrator of the Year. And Senior Staff Secretary Krista Burton was awarded Classified Employee of the Year. We celebrate you and want to thank you for making a positive impact on our students' lives.
Happy School Lunch Heroes Week. We want to recognize and thank our dedicated nutrition services employees who work hard every day to provide nutritious meals for our students. Their efforts help fuel the minds and bodies of our students so they're prepared to succeed in their day. We appreciate all that you do. The next time you pick up your meal, say thank you. Thank you for watching the weekly wrap up to see more videos from across the district. Please visit the Kern High School District Public Information Office YouTube channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.